We're not done talking about CD Projekt Red's next dive into the story between V and Johnny just yet. In fact, we're here with the voice and stylings of Johnny Silverhand, Keanu Reeves himself. Welcome. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. Likewise, well, Phantom Liberty introduces us to an entirely new location in Night City. It's, it's called Dogtown. It's this devastated place, it's controlled by a militia, but I think you know more about it than I do. So how would you describe it to players? Night City has its own kind of levels to it. And I think Dogtown is kind of going down to a darker place. Um, it's dystopian. It has a tension to it and this undercurrent of kind of violence, you know, like, and struggle, you know, can I swear? Yeah. Shit's gone down <laughs> in Dogtown. Oh, I like that um, tagline. Yeah, and it's just, you know, I mean, hopefully it'll be fun for people to, uh, to play there. It's hard to believe that there's an underbelly to the underbelly yes, that is good. Night City, yes. right? Yeah, I'm yeah. a little scared, but yeah. in a good way. No, it's a good way. <laughs> I mean, we're all kind of drawn to, we're all moths to the flame, mm -hmm. aren't we? And there's a lot of flame in Doctor. Well, if anyone can take it on, it's V. So that certainly yeah. gives me the confidence. Yeah, V's a survivor. Exactly, oh yeah. You know? And we just saw a tour of Dogtown too, so we got a little bit of that oh, cool. ambiance and, and we can see what the environment is like. People are getting beat up, it's not good. It's, yeah. It's not the friendliest place to be. You gotta, you gotta be prepared for it, truly. Yeah. But in our tour, we also hear a recording from a Colonel Kurt Hansen. Who's this guy? Because he seems pretty dangerous too. Yeah, that guy. No, I'm sorry, <laughs> I can't say that. My inner Johnny came out. I think that's good, inner... you know, we, we know the tone now. Yeah, well, I mean, he's ex-military, military too. Ruthless, power, hungry, manipulative, and Johnny doesn't like him. I could see that. It's, I mean, Night City in general is the kind of place that breeds that kind of character. Yeah. Let's take a step back. Let's talk about Johnny as a person instead of this horrible person known as Colonel Kurt Hansen. I don't know about this guy, but people like Johnny. And I think it's interesting because we know him to be opinionated. He's radical. We've seen that in Cyberpunk 2077 in the main campaign. But as we get to know him, he's got a sensitive side too. He can actually be quite caring. Oh, uh, that's what makes it so much fun. He is outspoken. He is a little grumpy. And he has a right to be. He's been used, he's been abused, he's been abandoned. And I think that through that kind of hardness of his outside, there is a vulnerability to him. And I think what's great about it is I, I get to play that character in so many different ways, and so the range of it is cool. And especially for the player, you get to see these moments and flashbacks. You start to understand he's a product of his upbringing, truly, of his surrounding. Well, let's not get carried away. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we could start talking about nature and nurture. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I keep dropping into Johnny. But uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I like I like his anger. I like his passion. I like what he stands for. He's. He's really just looking for a fair shot. And I, I love that he's kind of going through music, that there's an artist side to him. And, you know, I got some great speeches. <laughs> <laughs> so there's yeah. all these moments with Johnny where a tiny little thing, you know, elicits this really fun response. You can flip him off and he double birds you back. Like, I love those kind of moments. <laughs> or rock. I think another interesting lens of, of looking at him as we get into Phantom Liberty is his dynamic with Solomon Reed. So what can you tell me about Johnny's relationship with Idris Elba's character? I think Solomon has some things in common with Johnny in the sense of the military, the sense of being used, abused. Um, you know, it's in the title, right? They're fighting for a liberty. You know, Solomon's kind of trying to reclaim his life, you know, and Johnny's doing the same thing. You know, it's Cyberpunk 2077, so it might start off as revenge, and it might end as revenge, but I think sometimes he feels like he's lashing out at the wind, you know? And I think Solomon has been living out in the kind of the desert of his life, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of hiding and 
harboring. Yeah. But I think he also has that kind of soft and hard side to him as well. So as somebody who's very familiar with thrillers, because you've starred in a few, what do you think about Phantom Liberty makes for a good spy thriller in particular? The quest to understand what's going on. So, and, and the kind of scavenger hunt of information, the mystery, the double crossing, what is true, what's fiction, what can you count on, you can't count on anything. That is really kind of amplified. Well, thank you so much for coming out to another Xbox presentation. You've got a lot of fans out there in the Xbox community, so I think I can speak for all of us in saying we really appreciate you showing up here today. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, but before it's an I close honor to things be out, here. yeah. <laughs> well, before I close things out, I'd love your help here, Keanu. How do you think Johnny would end this interview right now? Well, there's a lot of ways you could do that. But, uh, Tina, pleasure to meet you. Oh, is that how Johnny would do it? Yeah. Oh, well, thank you, Johnny. Nice to, such nice a, to see such you. Such a pleasure to have you here. I, I thought you were gonna kick down the camera or something, so. No, you see, <laughs> he's respectful, you know. You're, you're a good egg. Oh, thank you, you too. Yeah. And I'll see you out there again soon. Yeah.